So using my impact screwdriver, the Phillips head on this screw just started to deform. There's too much corrosion between the threads of this screw and the hub for it to unscrew. So on my drill, this is a special drill bit called a center drill. It's used by machinists to start holes. I'm going to start doing this in the, in the screw. What it's going to do is, because I have the rounded area in the Phillips head area, it's going to keep this drill bit centered to go right through the center of the screw. The last thing you want to do when you're drilling at a screw is have your drill bit go off axis, off the center line of the screw, and damage the threads in the meeting part, in this case in the hub. So I'm going to start by drilling uh, a little ways into it with the center drill. Now machining steel is relatively slow, so you have to be patient. And sometimes it helps to use a little bit of a lubricant. This is Tap Magic cutting fluid, even WD-40 helps. Anything that helps lubricate it, keep the tip of the drill bit cool, will make your drill bit last longer and make the cutting go faster. My intent with a center drill is to drill far enough in that the tip of it goes beyond where the next drill bit's going to go. It's going to take the head off. And that's probably deep enough for the center drill. I'm now going to switch to a drill bit that is just the right size or just a, a tad larger than the body diameter of the threads. This is a 6 millimeter, an M6 screw. So it's a 6 millimeter diameter. I happen to be using a, an A, a number A drill bit right here. So now that I've got my center drill hole, I'm just going to go on top of it with this A. When it gets deep enough past the, the tapered shoulder of the screw, the head should pop right off. There. So here's the head of that stubborn stuck screw. Now, I no longer have to worry about the head holding the rotor on. Once the rotor's off, then we'll be able to get the rest of that screw body out. Now I've taken off the brake rotor, I can address these, uh, these two broken bolts, or broken, or screws, the ones that we had to drill out. Now that the rotor is off, we can see that we're right by the edge of the hub. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little heat to the area. Not a whole lot of heat. I don't want to burn the grease in the bearing or anything like that, but just enough of a little bit of heat, maybe that the metal will start to expand a little bit and maybe break some of the corrosion bond between the threads and the, and the bolt. You can also still see the, uh, the little hole in the middle. That was from my center drill, and so that will help me continue drilling straight through this, this screw or this bolt so that I don't nick the threads. I've heated it up just to the point where the, the shiny metal from the drilling on that screw has now been discolored. It's kind of brownish gold right now. That's hot enough. Now taking my drill with a smaller drill bit, this is small enough that it will go into the bolt and not nick the threads as long as I keep it straight. I should be able to start drilling this and it will actually screw the broken bolt piece through the hub and it will come out the other side. There it is. This little screw piece is hot, so I wouldn't pick it up with your hands, but there it is. It has come out. The threads are still good. I haven't damaged the threads. I haven't done anything like that. I'm ready to reuse it. If I was to drill all the way through this with this drill bit and it still didn't come out, uh, I would be able to then just go up a little bit more in size. This is a little smaller than what they call the tap drill the drill that you would use, the drill bit that you would use if you were going to run a tap through that hole. Um, but I would be able to drill straight through, you know, where that was, and then I'd use the next drill bit, which is a little bit larger, drill through, and then be able to run a tap down and clean up those threads and make the threads fresh for the next screw that we put in.